Welcome to your sophomore SEOP. Today we'll give you some information to help you make better decisions as you continue to plan your high school career. Registration will be one of the most important aspects of today's meeting. During your junior year, you are required to take a full year of Language Arts 11 and a full year of U.S. History. We also recommend a full year of Math and a full year of Science. The other additional credits can be used to keep you on track for graduation and enhance your high school career. We recommend you first look at graduation requirements to fill these additional courses. Next, we'd like you to find a class or two that will help you in your future career. Lastly, we'd like you to take something you will enjoy and will make high school an enjoyable experience. When you meet with your counselor, you can ask more specific questions pertaining to your career pathway and discuss courses that are right for you. Many parents and sophomores ask about scholarships. Most scholarships are not available until a student's senior year. However, it is a good idea to start planning now because what you do now affects your ability to get a scholarship as a senior. Of course, GPAs mean a great deal when looking at the scholarship equation. Students should try to keep their GPA as high as possible. ACT scores are probably the most important factor for most scholarships. This test should be taken during the spring of your junior year. However, the prep for the ACT has already begun. The classes you take and the amount of work you do in these courses has a great effect on the ACT score. Preparation for the ACT is not just preparation for a college entrance exam, but rather for college coursework itself. ACT recommends students take rigorous coursework. Although this coursework is difficult, the rewards come as students are ready for any path they choose. This chart shows the average increase in the science scores for students who take the more difficult sciences. Taking biology, chemistry, and physics in high school gives an average increase of 3.5 on the ACT science portion. This chart shows the average increase for those who take higher end math courses. As you can see, the higher the math level taken, the better the ACT score. The sophomore practice ACT test, called the PLAN, will be given here at Desert Hills this spring. You may want to take that test so you'll know the areas you need to study for the actual ACT. This practice test gives you valuable information and only costs $15. Announcements will be given and emails will be sent home to advertise this test. Some scholarships, like the Utah Scholars Regent Scholarship, require students to take specific courses. If you are working towards becoming a Utah Scholar, please let your counselor know so he or she will be able to enroll you in those required courses. Besides just doing well in academic courses, colleges and scholarship committees want to know what other things you do. Services and extracurricular activities are important to your future success. Make sure you get involved in the activities the school and your community have to offer. An important aspect in preparing for the future is to figure out how to pay for your education after high school. Utah Futures has an excellent financial aid module which allows you to make those plans. This feature allows you to learn about federal student aid and explains how to complete and submit the FAFSA forms. You can even do a scholarship search through this site so you can see the many scholarships available to students. Although you won't do this until your senior year, it helps to know what options are available to you. Feel free to utilize this valuable tool. As you progress toward the future, you may find you will forget many service and activity experiences you've had. Because these activities are an important part of scholarship applications, it's crucial that you keep record of them. We recommend keeping a service and leadership journal as well as a file of all your awards and achievements. Everything from the 9th through the 12th grade should be included in your records. Many of you are interested in concurrent enrollment. This is a program that allows you to take classes at Dixie College during the school day and allows you to receive both high school and college credit for those courses. If you are interested, we recommend this be done during your senior year. In order to be eligible for this program, you must have a GPA of 3.5 or higher and receive an eligible score on the ACT or college placement test. 
If you plan on taking concurrent enrollment, we recommend you fulfill as many graduation requirements as possible during your junior year. We also have some concurrent enrollment options available through DXATC. These options do not have a GPA or ACT requirement, so any student may participate in these programs. DXATC offers programs in carpentry, diesel mechanics, drafting, medical assisting, insurance billing and transcription, electrician, plumbing, pharmacy tech, and office technology. Please discuss these programs with your counselor. Beginning your junior year, Desert Hills offers AP or Advanced Placement courses. If you are an extremely good student and have taken honors courses, you may be interested in taking these classes. These are excellent classes and we encourage them because they will not only give you college credit for passing the AP test, but they will also have you ready for the rigors of college. Please realize these classes are extremely demanding. They will all require an average of two to three hours of homework per night. Please be sure you're ready for these courses if you register for them. If you're not sure, talk to your counselor about these options during your meeting today. You can see these pathways in pamphlet form in the counseling office or online. Please feel free to use these tools. Many of these pathways allow you to start your career not long after high school. If you're interested in a specific pathway, please discuss the options with your counselor. In just a few moments, you'll be meeting with your counselor. This will allow you time to personalize your registration and to talk about your future. We look forward to meeting with you.